What's going on guys? As you can see, I have my very first SIG part on my P250 uh, build. This isn't necessarily a custom build as far as actually making the gun itself. So I figured the first thing to do is to get the actual grip module or the frame if you will and get, put that, get that put on the actual P250. So with that being said, let's go over to the workbench and get this installed. Alright, so here it is. This is nothing more than the frame, of course. You know, you can see here on the box, it's for the P320 or the P250, which as you can see here, it's going to be the same uh, frame, if you will. I did go also with the compact, which this was it. This is what it is, and it is medium as well. So basically, all this is, is just the frame for the P250. So let's get this unboxed, and I'll show you exactly what we have going on here. All right, so it comes with this part. I'm not entirely sure what this is. I want to say it's the slide catch for the older model, if you will, uh, P250s, so the generation ones. This is the generation two, so it shouldn't be an issue whatsoever. But, so we're just gonna forget about that for now. If anything, worst case scenario, whenever I do get the slide and everything, and if I need to change it out, I will at that point. So let's check out the frame. So here's the frame. Um, it's nothing special. As you can see, this is where you put the, uh, the actual you know pin in and everything like that. So it should be pretty simple and good to go right off the bat. Uh, it does have these little blocks inside, which of course you have to remove, as you can see right there for you to actually put your FCU or the firing control unit in. All right, as you can see, I have a magazine here. Of course, it's got ammunition, but there's nothing going on with the frame, so. But this is my magazine that I use actually for my P320. And as you can see, it fits just fine. Nothing, you know, it's not gonna go anywhere or anything like that. The magazine release works perfectly. So, it's good to go. If you haven't noticed already, I'm basically gonna be going with a nine millimeter build. To install it as simple as you can see, it has this little flat end in the back. This is the hammer, of course, in the very back. And there's, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but there's a little, you know, flat portion right in the back right here, where this is essentially just gonna sit in there. Basically what you wanna do is sit it flat and push it all the way back. At this point, what you wanna do, as you can see, the trigger is not gonna clear this little hole which the trigger mechanism is supposed to go through. So what you wanna do is pull the hammer back until it clears and then bring it down. Once it actually clears, your P250 is pretty much installed at this point. As you can see, it's pretty good through there. Now what you wanna do is grab your pin or your, uh, I don't even know what this is called. I'm just gonna call it a retainer pin. And you wanna just slide it in. Once it's in, your P250 is now installed onto your frame. So I'm looking at it right now, and as you can see, the slide catch is actually not filling, fitting correctly, so I'm gonna have to install the slide catch that came with it, which is fine, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna do that right now off camera, and then I'm gonna put this back in. All right. So I got it installed now. It is ambidextrous, obviously. Um, as you can see, the spring actually pushes the slide catch back down pretty easily. And it looks like it fits just fine, per perfectly on to the little slot right there that it's allotted for. So that's all it is. Um, anybody can do this, of course. You know, I think anybody with a little bit of common sense would be able to put the firing control unit into a frame. but. Just to test out the actual uh, hammer itself, let's pull the trigger a couple times. As you can see, it's pulling back nicely. Now let's see if it breaks. Okay, one more time. Okay. And it looks like everything works. So let me know what you guys think of this process or 
just period about the modularity of this pistol down in the comments down below. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video. If you're not already subscribed, please smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys on the next video.